This is Blackwell. It's okay, Hopper. You're, you're very good. Good, good boy. Oh, good girl. 208 billion transistors. And so, so you could see, you, it, it, I can see, there, there's a small line between two dyes. This is the first time two dyes have been abutted like this together in such a way that the two, chip, the two dyes think it's one chip. There's 10 terabytes of data between it, 10 terabytes per second, so that these two, these two sides of the Blackwell chip have no clue which side they're on. There's no memory locality issues, no cache issues. It's just one giant chip. And so uh, when we were told that Blackwell's ambitions were beyond the limits of physics, uh, the engineer said, so what? And so this is what, what happened. And so this is the Blackwell chip, and it goes... This is NVIDIA Project Grid. A general purpose foundation model for humanoid robot learning. The group model takes multimodal instructions and past interactions as input and produces the next action for the robot to execute. We developed Isaac Lab, a robot learning application to train Groot on Omniverse Isaac Sim. And we scale out with Osmo, a new compute orchestration service that coordinates workflows across DGX systems for training and OVX systems for simulation. With these tools, we can train Groot in physically based simulation and transfer zero shot to the real world. The Groot model will enable a robot to learn from a handful of human demonstrations so it can help with everyday tasks and emulate human movement just by observing us. This is made possible with NVIDIA's technologies that can understand humans from videos, train models in simulation, and ultimately deploy them directly to physical robots. Connecting Groot to a large language model even allows it to generate motions by following natural language instructions. Hi, GL1. Can you give me a high five? Sure thing. Let's high five. Can you give us some cool moves? Sure. Check this out. All this incredible intelligence is powered by the new Jetson Thor robotics chips, designed for Groot, built for the future. With Isaac Lab, Osmo, and Groot, we're providing the building blocks for the next generation of AI-powered robotics. About the same size. The soul of NVIDIA, the intersection of computer graphics, physics, artificial intelligence. It all came to bear at this moment. The name of that project, General Robotics 003. I know, super good. <laughs> super good. Well, what else can we generate? What else can we learn? Well. One of the things that we would love to learn, we would love to learn, is we would love to learn climate. We would love to learn extreme weather. We would love to learn uh, what, how we can predict future weather at regional scales, at sufficiently high resolution, such that we can keep people out of harm's way before harm comes. Extreme weather cost the world $150 billion Surely more than that, it's not evenly distributed. $150 billion is concentrated in some parts of the world, and of course, to some people of the world. We need to adapt, and we need to know what's coming. And so we're creating Earth 2, a digital twin of the Earth for predicting weather, and we've made an extraordinary invention called CoreDiv. 
the ability to use generative AI to predict weather at extremely high resolution. Let's take a look. As the Earth's climate changes, AI-powered weather forecasting is allowing us to more accurately predict and track severe storms, like Super Typhoon Chanthu, which caused widespread damage in Taiwan and the surrounding region in 2021. Current AI forecast models can accurately predict the track of storms, but they are limited to 25 kilometer resolution, which can miss important details. NVIDIA's Cordiff is a revolutionary new generative AI model trained on high-resolution, radar-assimilated wharf weather forecasts and ERA-5 reanalysis data. Using Cordiff, extreme events like Chanthu can be super-resolved from 25 km to 2 km resolution, with 1,000 times the speed and 3,000 times the energy efficiency of conventional weather models. By combining the speed and accuracy of NVIDIA's weather forecasting model ForecastNet and generative AI models like Cordiff, we can explore hundreds or even thousands of kilometer scale regional weather forecasts to provide a clear picture of the best, worst, and most likely impacts of a storm. This wealth of information can help minimize loss of life and property damage. Today, Cordiff is optimized for Taiwan, but soon generative super sampling will be available as part of the NVIDIA Earth2 inference service for many regions across the globe. Hey guys, so I understand you guys are powered by Jetson. They're powered by Jetsons, little Jetson robotics computers inside. They learn to walk in Isaac Sim. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is orange and this is the famous green. They are the BDX robots of Disney, amazing Disney research. Come on, you guys, let's wrap up. Let's go. Five things. Where are you going? I sit right here. Don't be afraid. Come here, Green. Hurry up. What are you saying? No, it's not time to eat. It's not time to eat. I'll give, I'll give you a snack in a moment. Let me finish up real quick. Come on, Green, hurry up. Stop wasting time. Five things. Five things. First, a new industrial revolution. Every data center should be accelerated. A trillion dollars worth of installed data centers will become modernized over the next several years. Second, because of the computational capability we brought to bear, a new way of doing software has emerged, generative AI, which is gonna create new, inf new infrastructure dedicated to doing one thing and one thing only. Not for multi-user data centers, but AI generators. These AI generation will create incredibly valuable software. A new industrial revolution. Second, the computer of this revolution the computer of this generation, generative AI, trillion parameters, Blackwell, insane amounts of computers and uh, computing. Third, <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate. Good job. Third, new computer, new computer creates new types of software. New type of software should be distributed in a new way so that it can, on the one hand, be an endpoint in the cloud and easy to use, but still allow you to take it with you because it is your intelligence. Your intelligence should be pack packaged up in a way that allows you to take it with you. We call them NIMS. And third, these NIMS are going to help you create a new type of application for the future. Not one that you wrote completely from scratch, but you're gonna integrate them like Teams. Create these applications. We have a fantastic capability between NIMS, the AI technology, the tools, Nemo, and the infrastructure, DGX Cloud, in our AI Foundry to help you create proprietary applications, proprietary chatbots, and then lastly, everything that moves in the future will be robotic. You're not gonna be the only one. And these robotic systems, whether they 
are humanoid AMRs, self-driving cars, forklifts, manipulating arms. They will all need one thing. Giant stadiums, warehouses, factories. There can be factories that are robotic, orchestrating factories, uh, manufacturing lines that are robotics, building cars that are robotics. These systems all need one thing. They need a platform, a digital platform, a digital twin platform, and we call that Omniverse, the operating system of the robotics world. These are the five things that we talked about today. What does NVIDIA look like? What does NVIDIA look like? When we talk about GPUs, there's a very different image that I have when, I, when people ask me about GPUs. First, I see a bunch of software stacks and things like that. And second, I see this. This is what we announced to you today. This is Blackwell. This is the platform. The future of heavy industries starts as a digital twin. The AI agents helping robots, workers, and infrastructure navigate unpredictable events in complex industrial spaces will be built and evaluated first in sophisticated digital twins. This omniverse digital twin of a 100,000 square foot warehouse is operating as a simulation environment that integrates digital workers, AMRs running the NVIDIA Isaac Perceptor stack, centralized activity maps of the entire warehouse from 100 simulated ceiling mount cameras using NVIDIA Metropolis, and AMR route planning with NVIDIA Co-opt. Software in loop testing of AI agents in this physically accurate simulated environment enables us to evaluate and refine how the system adapts to real world unpredictability. Here, an incident occurs along this AMR's planned route, blocking its path as it moves to pick up a pallet. NVIDIA Metropolis updates and sends a real-time occupancy map to Co-op, where a new optimal route is calculated. The AMR is enabled to see around corners and improve its mission efficiency. With generative AI-powered Metropolis Vision Foundation models, operators can even ask questions using natural language. The visual model understands nuanced activity and can offer immediate insights to improve operations. All of the sensor data is created in simulation and passed to the real-time AI, running as NVIDIA Inference Microservices, or NIMS. And when the AI is ready to be deployed in the physical twin, the real warehouse, we connect Metropolis and Isaac NIMS to real sensors with the ability for continuous improvement of both the digital twin and the AI models. way for you to receive and operate software. This software comes basically in a digital box. We call it a container. And we call it the NVIDIA Inference Microservice, a NIM. And let me explain to you what it is. A NIM, it's a pre-trained model, so it's pretty clever. And it is packaged and optimized to run across NVIDIA's install base which is very, very large. What's inside it is incredible. You have all these pre-trained, state-of-the-art open source models. They could be open source. They could be from one of our partners. It could be created by us, like NVIDIA Moment. It is packaged up with all of its dependencies. So CUDA, the right version. CUDNN, the right version. TensorRT, LLM, distributing across the multiple GPUs. Triton Inference Server, all completely packaged together. It's optimized depending on whether you have a single GPU, multi-GPU, or multi-node of GPUs, it's optimized for that. And it's connected up with APIs that are simple to use. Now this, think about what an AI API is. An AI API is an interface that you just talk to. And so this is a piece of software in the future that has a really simple API, and that API is called human. And these packages, incredible bodies of software, will be optimized and packaged, and we'll put it on a website. And you can download it, you could take it with you, you could run it in any cloud, you could run it in your own data center, you can run in workstations. This is completely revolutionary. Well, those models are incredibly hard to use, um, for, in, incredibly hard for people to build, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build them. We're gonna build them for uh, the, the researchers around the world. And it won't be the only one, there'll be many other models that we create. 
And so let me show you what we're going to do with it. Virtual screening for new medicines is a computationally intractable problem. Existing techniques can only scan billions of compounds and require days on thousands of standard compute nodes to identify new drug candidates. NVIDIA BioNemo NIMS enable a new generative screening paradigm. Using NIMS for protein structure prediction with AlphaFold, molecule generation with MolMIM, and docking with DIFDOC, we can now generate and screen candidate molecules in a matter of minutes. MolMIM can connect to custom applications to steer the generative process, iteratively optimizing for desired properties. These applications can be defined with BioNemo microservices or built from scratch. Here, a physics-based simulation optimizes for a molecule's ability to bind to a target protein while optimizing for other favorable molecular properties in parallel. MolMIM generates high-quality drug-like molecules that bind to the target and are synthesizable, translating to a higher probability of developing successful medicines faster. BioNemo is enabling a new paradigm in drug discovery with NIMS, providing on-demand microservices that can be combined to build powerful drug discovery workflows like de novo protein design or guided molecule generation for virtual screening. BioNemo NIMS are helping researchers and developers reinvent computational drug design.